Despite late season snowfall, Summit County is in a moderate drought. It's hard to tell just by looking around. The rivers are flowing, the grass is mostly green, and there's a good amount of snow left on the mountains. Dillon Reservoir has certainly seen fuller days, but it has nothing to do with our water supply in Summit County. It's a reservoir owned by Denver that provides water to over 500,000 households on the Front Range. There's not a single municipality here in, in the uh, in the county that uh, derives their drinking water, or household, or commercial use water from, from Dillon Reservoir. Our drought can be explained by four main factors. What happened last year, our snowpack this year, spring and summer weather, and human demands. Last year, you know, we came off of a, a banner low year on um, snowpack. Uh, we, we maxed out about 60% of average uh, last year, and that was early March. This year, we were fortunate we had a very wet April which brought us from 70% snowpack to about 100% snowpack um, just in the last two weeks of, of April. Cooler than average temperatures in March and April also help to keep our snow up on the mountains. We want to keep it up on the mountain for as long as we can. Try to, um, I guess, temper or moderate those flows throughout the summer because typically it's summer where the, the peak use occurs, whether it's agriculture or um, you know, recreational uses. Um, household use for lawn irrigation. Our current human demands exceed the available water supply in any average year. Uh, it, it literally is one and the same water. You know, the water that you are using in your condo um, is the same water that you want to come out here and enjoy when you, when you raft or fish or hike in the forest or ski on the mountain. Um, and I, I think that's, that's, a, that's a critical piece that's really missing from uh, from the dialogue, uh, one of the best things you can do to save a tremendous amount of water and leave it in the in the rivers for the fish and and the, and the rafting and, and skiing it would be to uh, replace replace your Kentucky bluegrass with uh, you know more native plants, uh, in particular buffalo grass. It uses uses one tenth the amount of water that Kentucky bluegrass does. If you're not ready to replace your lawn, avoid using the automatic timer for your sprinkler system. By watering manually, you can account for recent moisture. Familiarize yourself with how much water your landscape really needs to avoid overwatering. Inside the house, replacing your toilet, washing machine, and faucets with energy efficient models can provide significant savings. Use low load settings on your washing machine whenever possible. Don't do a load of laundry until you have a full load to clean, and don't leave the faucet running while brushing your teeth, doing the dishes. Just doing these simple little tricks can save hundreds of gallons over the course of the month. You know, water, water is the most critical resource um, in, our, in our world, and it's becoming more and more critical based on uh, you know, anticipated uh, population growth and increased demands that we put on it.